Hi guys, Dr. Zoe again. Um, I was coming, I was coming to work this morning, just go to the office. And just before, I had a couple of minutes, so I looked at my friend's page, Sunday did not speak this morning. And I saw interesting, uh, you know, I was telling these stories, stories. A lady trying to convince people to, you know, build houses back home. Another one trying to convince people to um, own houses in America. And they're both nice, I agree. But I said, I'll, I'll talk about it. I, because honestly, we as Nigerians and abroad, it is, it's, it, we think about retirement late, including me. So my topic this morning is Nigerians getting old abroad. I will talk about it because I'm in a position to talk about it. The real reasons are this. The reasons are this. In the next 12, 13 years, I'm going to be considered a senior here, retirement age. That's me. My kids are all grown. So that's one. And secondly, I look after a lot of elderly people here. I say it all the time. I think I look after the richest people in Calgary and the not so rich in Calgary. A lot of in senior homes. That's why I, I do that with my group of doctors. That's what I do. I even look after a rehabilitation home where you have, you know, where you have uh, people that are recovering addicts and stuff. I do, I do. I have a lot of experience when it comes to that. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I don't think I've seen a Nigerian in one of those homes. Not one, not one. These things, whether you like it or not, they play, they, you know, they affect the way you think, the way you reason. I've personally, personally, these homes are beautiful lovely fantastic it's like living in Nikonuga all your life but they are most of them are expensive and i've made up my mind i've called my family i've called my daughter and my 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 wife i said guys i don't want to be here i've got one i can't afford it it's too expensive i don't see why i'll be paying four five thousand sometimes seven thousand per person for one small bedroom and an apartment. I just can't, I, I, I can't afford it at that old age. Even if I do, I'd rather use a fraction of that money and stay in Lakey or, or Potakot or Independence Laos. I mean, I have houses there, why not? I've told my kids. My kids come and do observership during summer now with me and we walk around those homes with them and I, I say it all the time, I, I you know, don't get me wrong, Nigeria has its own problems too. There's health issue, unless the a, a Tinubu administration will do something and maybe start thinking about bringing expatriates like us back home to help and improve our health. Otherwise, it's going to get worse. I know that. Security is probably going to get worse. I know that too. But there are things you do to mitigate it still cheaper. Electricity, yes, yeah, you can get generators and all that. So personally, as I said, I've said it, I've said it openly, I've said it privately to my family. I'd rather be home. I've got houses there, I've got everywhere, you know, I'm okay with that. Because we as Nigerians, we start thinking about retirement very late, as I said, including me. Period. So in the in fact, in the next five, six years or so, I'll spend about nine months here and go and chill three months in Lakey or or VI or Portacourt or Independence Lab, one of those places. As I said, I got homes there. That's what I plan to do. Thankfully, my job is such that it doesn't involve physical activity. I love what I do today. It's more of mentorship and training the young ones anyway. I see myself doing this for the next 20 years, believe me, because one, I love it. And secondly, it doesn't take anything physically out of me. Thankfully, I lost a lot of weight lately, so I feel great health-wise. But that's what I want to do. I've told my daughter, I've told my wife, please, God forbid, if I wake up tomorrow and Dr. Zo can't talk or do, take me back home, take me that to that lake. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay there. In fact, you wouldn't believe it that some of my friends here, some of my doctor friends here were making jokes about it because some of them have bought houses too from CDV, the same area. We're all going to be neighbors in old age. If I say it, they say, I see, he didn't plan well. I know that I have a lot of stocks. And let me tell you, Listen, I have a lot of friends here in Canada. In America, I have relatives too that have been through the same thing. I have an auntie that worked and made a lot of money in her lifetime. Unfortunately, she developed dementia late sisters and there was no house. And you know the problem? Even when you have the money, 
you sell your stocks you have the money to build a house at that age you don't have the physical strength it's not easy i'm going you're going to tell me you're going to buy it's not easy trust me in this our calgary canada let me tell you there are some shell people that came here a lot earlier than me now they've digitally relocated back to nigeria there's a couple that came from my wife's event three weeks ago they came from nigeria they still have they live comfortably they still have mortgage paid off here if they come here they stay in their house their kids are all grown university and all very good pension from from shell they come and do their stuff if you tell them this is the amount you want to pay for the mountain they pay it all do, do their thing clean that is what i want to do i'm not seeing some of those homes because i'm going to go there now this is today is thursday i'm going to go to one of those homes you know and do my i love them some of them are beautiful but i, I spend i can't afford it even if I do, I just don't think it's right for me. I'd rather, instead of paying 7000 for a small apartment, I'll use, can you imagine using $2,000 in Nigeria every month? My, you'll be, you'll be, you have a cook, you have a driver, you have everything, you live like a king. I'm telling you, that's my plan. I, as I say, I say it every day. I say it's open. This is what I want to do. I want to, in fact, it gets to a stage, I, as I said, I plan to do medicine for another 20 years if possible. But the way my life is going now, I might even go in full-time media. I don't know. But, you know, it is what it is. Anything we see, let's take it. But, you know, people have to take one or two steps backward and think about those things. We all had kids here. Don't deceive yourself. Most of these kids are not going to go home. And believe it or not, from my experience of the kids I have here with the seniors, some of them can be selfish. So plan, plan, plan for yourself. In summary, I support you having a house back home, if possible, two or three. And I support you having a house here too, if possible, two or three. Because at that time, the small rent you'll be getting here from your property will be a lot to manage you back home. But the one I don't agree is to go and put myself in all these too expensive guys. Even the ones the government can help you to put it to you might not like to be there. I, I'm telling you. This is my opinion. You can like it. You can say, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's up to you. All I'm, all I'm saying is I've stayed abroad for 20 something years. I am going to be a senior in the next 12 and a half years. So I qualify to talk about this topic. And more importantly, I look after a ton of seniors in this town. I see they are my friends. So I see what they go through. I see what they go through, how they will manage their own money. Remember that the Caucasians start to plan this year retirement much earlier than us. Can you imagine me being here for decades, a medical doctor? I only started thinking about it not too long ago. Ah, guys, what's going to happen? It is what it is for us. That's why I keep telling you, I have not seen a Nigerian in all the 10 senior homes I'm looking at. I, mean, I only saw one black American. I haven't seen any other black person. I'm telling you, it's, it is what it is for us. The locals here, they start early to plan this thing, so it's their life. But for me, oh, for me, eh, I'd rather chill in Lekki, oh, I'm telling you. I'd rather chill in Lekki and spend one, 1,005 every month than come here and pay five to six, 7,000 every month. But that's my apartment now. I don't think it makes sense. Let me go to work, guys. I just feel that I should say it for people to hear. It's my opinion. Don't fault me. If you don't start commenting rubbish, I'll block you. And it is what it is for me. Have a good day, guys. Uh, remain your servant, Dr. Zoe.